You can't get what you get here nowhere else, Mom. Keep it real now. You know. You know. You know you love this. You Coach Rose, players reported on Wednesday. Uh, talk a little bit about the team as they get ready to get start camp. Well, I guess uh, I've been had the, that date pencil on my calendar for probably four months, you know, and just you know, anticipating the date. Uh, everybody showed up. We had 80, 88 that showed up. Uh, you know, we're currently uh, leaving two slots open. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we've got a great looking group. Uh, we've got 27 uh, freshmen and uh, one transfer. And uh, I think that's going to be the, the start of something good. And, and we challenge those, uh, those freshmen and say, you know, this is your class. And I think they can do some great things. And I think the last great class we had was uh, when Justin Durant was here. Uh, Coach, well, you're in a good situation. You bring back uh, nine players on defense and then eight starters on uh, yes. offense. Yes. I'll talk a little bit about the kids you have coming back. Yeah, well, I feel good. Uh, just starting off, uh, I, I, I start with the offensive line is where you want to start. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, our strength coach, uh, Big John, did a great job with our guys. And so, you know, we've got guys that have massive improvements. Starting off with uh, Tommy Buford, he was at 270. And, uh, you know, now he's at 305, and he's, our, you know, our center. So he's going to anchor that. Uh, I think, uh, you know, Norman Booker, again, everybody improved. You know, and, you know, this is his second year. So, you know, uh, you know we feel good about that. And, and our two anchors, uh, our two off, our tackles, uh, uh, Jamal Wilson and Scott McNichols, uh, you know, 6'4", 6'5", apiece. Both of those guys, again, you know, more experience. And so I'm, I'm really excited. I think what's going to be interesting is our quarterback situation because, uh, you know, we've got uh, – you know, a couple of good candidates, and I think we've got a, a great uh, competition going on uh, with Travis Champion. And Travis uh, played a little bit last year when uh, uh, David Legree got hurt, and uh, he's going to be a sophomore. But uh, we've got a, a 6'5", uh, 240 quarterback, uh, Nigel Tyler, and uh, from Coffeeville by way of per uh, by Purdue. And uh, we also got a, uh, you know, player of the year, uh, you know, from uh, Oscar Smith, and uh, I think J.J. Uh, Williamson. So. It's going to be a great, you know, battle there. And uh, what I'm also impressed with uh, is my receivers. We've, we've got 11 scholarship receivers, and, you know, those guys were here this summer, and, you know, we've got a lot of guys with playmaking type abilities, so we were excited. And uh, I guess to, to tap that off with uh, the running game with Swartz and Chisholm and B.O. McLeod, and we've got a couple of young guys coming in. And, but I think uh, with the addition of our new offensive coordinator, I think it's, it's going to be uh, – a high, high scoring offense, and uh, you know it's going to be more of a, uh, a balanced, you know, uh, attack. So I'm, I'm really excited about the offense. Uh, Coach, well, you know they say defense won championships in the last your, the four years you've been yes, here. Yes. Hampton's always had a great defense with the defense coordinator, Coach yes. Borganis. Uh And I think from looking at the depth chart and what you have coming back, you, you have to be impressed with the defense. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start again. You always start up front, and uh, I think right now I'm more impressed. Uh, our middle linebacker, uh, you know, and I, I was talking to one, one of my friends the other day and I was sharing that and it's kind of unheard of what he is, but, uh, you know, he's done a, a great job. Devontae uh, Hawkins, uh, Devontae came back this year and, you know, he uh, he won the strength award. Uh, benching 435, squatting 600, and power cleaning 345 at, uh, at the mic, middle linebacker. So I, I think that's where it started. You know, all those guys are coming back. You know, he was a starter last year along with Lindell Gibson and, and Delbert Tyler, you know, so I'm, I'm looking for greatness on that. We got our preseason uh, uh, defensive end, uh, Matt Davis, and I'm excited about that. And I think, you know, we've got a, a whole list of guys that's going to work on that DN. We, we got a recruit uh, coming in from uh, Richmond, uh, 6'7", 250, uh, uh, Marshall Lee Munden. Uh, we've got another recruit, uh, you know, big, good size, Najee Cawthorn, he's 6'5", 290, and got a, another D tackle, about 6'3", 340. Uh, Terrell Stewart, and so I think, you know, we're going to be okay, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm more impressed with the secondary. Uh, I know it's on paper, but uh, I think on, uh, as far as paper, we've got a chance to be one of the better, better secondaries that we've had. And that's saying a lot, because, you know, I'm even going back when, when I played, and that, that's a long time ago, but, uh, but you, know, you know, they haven't played yet, but I think that, uh, you know, with that uh, addition and with the, the secondary and the, and the linebackers and the, and the linemen and our newfound offense and of course, uh, special teams. Uh, I'm looking for a very exciting season. Well, Coach, we want to thank you for your time. Uh, let you get back to work and get back okay. to work. Thank you, sir. Go Pirates. <laughs>